intense video tonight that shows a teen being tased by Pensacola police. It happened just minutes after investigators say he violently attacked somebody with a machete. All of this unfolding in the heart of downtown Pensacola. Tonight, 19 year old Andrew Ryder facing several charges. Our Ariel Mallory tracking down that video. And Ariel, you talked with two people who say that they literally pointed the suspect out to police. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, Lenny Simbar. And I spoke with Connor and Logan, and they say they were sitting outside when they allegedly saw Andrew Ryder walk right past them holding the machete. So they pulled out their phones and started recording the whole thing. Now, police say Ryder used that machete to walk inside a bar and assault a man. new video tonight a man tased in the middle of downtown Pensacola allegedly wielding a machete this video sent to us shows Pensacola police officers commanding 19 year old Andrew Ryder to drop the weapon just moments after he allegedly used the machete to assault a man inside a bar from this angle, you can see Ryder standing in between two Pensacola police officers, a black mask on and a machete over his right shoulder. Police yell for him to drop it and say he refused. What happened next left him falling to the ground. This all happened after investigators say Ryder walked inside the old Hickory Whiskey Bar on Palafox Street Sunday night. Investigators say Ryder walked into the bar just before 9 o'clock and hit a man in the head with the machete. The victim was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay. Ryder is charged with attempted murder. Police haven't said if the suspect knew the man or if this was an unprovoked attack. Now, I reached out to the owner of the bar who gave this statement. She says our staff is obviously shaken up over the incident. Those working during the attack showed courageous effort in removing the suspect from the building. We are thankful the situation didn't escalate further and that the Pensacola Police Department acted swiftly. Now, when I asked the owner how Ryder was allegedly able to get inside the bar with the weapon and a mask on, she said, quote, we keep our doors open to the sidewalk. Anyone has the capability of walking into our establishment. I would like to be noted the suspect walked into Old Hickory with his weapon drawn and wearing a face covering. He was not a patron nor hiding his malicious, malicious intent upon entrance. Now, Ryder is being held in the Escambia County Jail. According to jail records, he's being held on $172,000 bond. Live tonight in Pensacola, Ariel Mallory, Fox 10 News.